In this video, I'm gonna show you a 2014 Corolla and how to pick fix a P2401 and P2402 code. So the problem here in Canada is the filter gets all clogged, the char charcoal canister filter gets all clogged and uh, it sends, I don't know, it, it screws the charcoal canister filter. I'd have to talk to my friend, he knows more about it. But either way, Toyota Canada made a revised filter that doesn't get clogged by uh, corrosion from the salt and snow and water. Uh, so this charcoal canister and this filter is a revised part and as far as I know it's only sold in Canada but uh, it may be sold in the northern states too. Uh, here are the part numbers for the new parts. So I'm going to show you how to install them and uh, fix the problem. So on the uh, old canister, this uh, hose goes on here. This red clip's kind of hard to get undone. You have to pry the two top prongs away and then pull down on that. And I used a, I used a right angle pick. This one's easy. It's just that uh, hose with a clamp on it. Uh, this one is a bit harder again. There's two prongs up here and there's an o-ring in there. Spray some brake clean in there if it's tough to get off. And this one is easy. It's just to press on and come off. So you take all that off and then you take that bolt off and that bolt and then it should come down and that bolt. And then you bolt the new one up and I'll show you that. Just to clarify on this connector, you have to, uh, these are the two prongs right here, the top and bottom up here and down here. Yeah, I, I put a flathead screwdriver in each side and worked their way back. But yeah, it's kind of hard. So the new filter mounts up like this near the tire and in the same bolt hole that the back one uh, for the charcoal canister goes into. So then these hoses come up here. The one hooks in up there and this one hooks into your new charcoal canister. Um, again, here, here's the same clip up there that uh, I was just getting off on the other side here. And uh, yeah, you just have to push that side down and the top side down and it'll unclip. So here's the charcoal filter and charcoal canister and filter uh, correctly installed. Um, just yeah, the one end, it's kind of hard to screw up because the pipes are bent the right way. So the one end goes in there and the other end goes back into the charcoal canister. So it's just an inline filter. And all the other uh, cables and hoses go into the same spot. And yeah, I'm just gonna clear the codes and then run the car and the code shouldn't come back now. Thanks for watching. So just so uh, people know um, what causes this problem, uh, I took the charcoal canister apart, um, didn't need to do that really, the old one, made a big mess, whatever. Um, this is attached in the charcoal canister, but it can be taken out with a few, it just has a few clips on it. Um, you get a new one in the new charcoal canister. So that's, that's what's wrong, um, that corrosion in there. So I, I, I can't remember, it was explained to me, but this, it's a valve that gets seized up or something because of the corrosion. Um, I busted this all apart, it, it's a sealed unit so you can't just take it apart. Um, so that stops the valve or something from moving and letting out fumes uh, that aren't needed or, or something like that. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% uh, sure, but it's something like that, that because of that corrosion that gets in there, because of moisture that gets into the fuel system, more moisture in Canada because of salt and stuff like that gets in there, corrodes it faster. Um, maybe in high humid areas too, you might have that problem, I'm not totally sure. Um, and yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't let it vent out, so it, it, I guess it fouls the canister and sets that code and doesn't let you do anything. Um, this car actually, 
even when uh, filling it up at the gas station, um, it would click, the pump would click off often, like not when it's full because of this evap code. But anyways, that's the problem and that's how to fix it. And there's, from what I know, there's no way around it. You have to buy a brand new canister and you have to buy the filter. It is expensive as hell and there's no way around it. And that's what you gotta do. You just, it's part of it. You could try and find one at a junkyard that has had this done to it and then crashed. But uh, chances are you're looking at buying it brand new and paying $650 plus or something around there, Canadian. Maybe five, four fifty US.